Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to be a little quiet here, but I'm going to make a video on making um, some sort of giant beast. Um, I was thinking of doing this for, I don't know, it's been a month. Yeah. So I'll show you an update on my um, fantasy pals right here. Oh, this is not even it. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of mess. Yeah. So, let me just increase input gain on this um, microphone. Well, it's really my phone, but okay, so it should be loud enough. So, there's it, it's kind of messy so far, but um, it, it's really, really complicated for um, how I use the architecture in this build. Now, you can see I use a lot of different techniques and roofing things, and it's just really complicated. So, um, there's a lot of different types of blocks I used. I try to keep a similar color scheme, but with many different blocks. And I use different, like, I don't know, it's kind of unique. And I like it. I like this giant tower up here, and that, this thing. I like this. It's, um, pretty new. New style. And, um... I kind of want to quit making um, that other Dryosia thing, but um, I'll just finish as much as much as I can and just get a render out of it. And um, I want to finish this one though because I, I like it more. Still have to work on some parts, and I'm still making that. Um, it's just some giant monster. It's pretty cool. And I have to do some terraforming here. Um, I'm kind of happy with it so far. This looks weird, but it looks good in like the other view. Cause there's gonna be like this giant monster here. Not this. I have to get rid of this arm. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna attach it to that. It's some sort of like giant war beast. I don't know what exactly it is. Terraforming's pretty decent so far. I kind of like it. Not really complete though. And this is giant staircase that um have to climb all the way up that booty and. It's gonna lead to like a giant, like airship thing. Then this is the giant troll thing. It looks pretty cool. And I obviously have this dragon here, which I had from a commission. Uh, Mystic Absence was doing, but um, we pretty much failed that one. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go so well. So yeah, I'm gonna have a giant city in here too. I have this giant walkway with new water here. It's a pretty cool looking thing I made first. It's going pretty well. Yeah, here's this um, organic dude I made. Um, pretty simple. Well, to me. And here's one of the houses I made that's going to be in the city. Pretty detailed for a small house like that. I kind of like it. So, that's just an update on this fantasy mansion. Um, I'll be building... Um, uh, I'll do a series on this, uh, finishing this fantasy mansion, so, so far it's been three minutes of talking, so, let's get to it. I am currently working on this giant, like, kraken, kraken thing, but it's like, it's, it's just something weird, it's like a mutant, so, um, let's get our materials out. Well, what are they talking about? Okay. Yeah, it's not 100%. Okay. Sorry, I was just reading what they were saying. So, this is a giant tentacle I'm making, just knowing where the positioning is. And I'm doing this giant hand, some armor plates, some this thing really weird. Uh, I saw a reference image of that. Pretty cool. Some more claws and arms and things like that. So, let's get to it. Um, this is the abdomen part, and it's going to be. Like there's gonna be waves and water next to it, just like splashing. So, let's see the speed. Let's see what we can do here. So, I want to see how wide and big this um, tentacle is. It's, it has a weird shape to it. So, this is like kind of like a tendon, almost like connecting to it and pulling the arm. And it's gonna be kind of muscular a little bit. It's, it's a tentacle, so it's not really. Good. But, um, what should we do first? This arm, um, 
I can't really look at a reference image right now because I'm recording, but um, because I have to look at my phone. But I don't want, I don't know what happens if I close the app. So, thing about muscles is that um, this bicep part, it's not gonna be like a complete cylinder. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna go like that. Just usually like an indentation, like. When you look at your bicep, it's not a huge, like, sphere. It's more like a bump, but ugh, I don't explain it. So, what we're gonna do is locate this giant sharp thing in the back of the elbow. And, uh, we're gonna do the spike. With the spike, you wanna leave the back kind of long. And, it's pretty decent for a spike. Now, the forearm is confusing with the muscles. But uh, you don't have to go in big detail, detail with it. Usually there's this thick part. And then, since this arm is going upwards, kind of, you don't have to go down. But it does get skinny. So, see, it goes up like that, kind of. And that's what I'll use a voxel and, uh, and do stuff like that, and just fill it in. I could do it by hand, but you know, this thing is giant, it's the biggest thing I've ever done, but um, I would do it by hand. The biggest thing I've ever done by hand is that demon I have it in my Planet Minecraft. So it has this obviously skinny wrist, okay, and you want to locate the bottom, how wide, it'd be, it'd be kind of wide here, a little bit, not that much. And when you look at the inside of her wrist, um, if you flex kind of, it would be, um, this lower part will be kind of bigger, like thick, and then it will just come back here, a little um, flatter, kind of. Like, no, 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 wait, hold up. It's kind of confusing. I'm gonna look at my wrist, and there, it appears to be like a, I don't know, just muscle. And um, it should look like that. I'm trying to exaggerate the muscles so I'm not really that muscular. I'm getting there now. <laughs> and you want to do more wireframing. Um, so you would have that. Okay, <laughs> what is happening? In the, what are they talking about? Okay, who cares? So you probably have the wrist so far. And let's continue going back. Now we want to talk about this bicep thing. Um, Let's just make how big of a bump it is. It's kind of flexing a little bit. That, I don't know if that's like the deltoid area here. Okay, what is happening to the server? Ah, these blocks. So this is probably like the deltoid area, which is like the shoulder. So you have this bump here, and then there's this crease. So there's like this um, fold here. It goes like this, and then there's a big bump here. If you want to make, if you want to make it kind of accurate, I'm just trying not to exaggerate it much. So it's like that. Yeah, it looks about right. You don't have to get the forms that correct either. So as you can see from the front, it kind of looks like an arm a little bit. Just not. Just this front part does not look correct right now because the thumb. It's gonna look better because the thumb is gonna be this way, so it's not going to be that way, it's going to look weird, right? Because in reality, the thumb would be here, let's make the thumb. So this is not a real life person, this is a creature, so a lot of features are exaggerated. So, the thumb would be here, and it would be, look, it'll make more sense, it'll look better once you finish the thumb. Then the giant claw would be here. So yeah, and when you come back here, it makes more sense. This is going to be like a flap right here, kind of like how in real life some animals have that. Um, this arm is only halfway done, so um, you can just pretty much guess on how to do this part. It's kind of regular. It's really thick though. Probably extend this. I'm not gonna build this whole thing back now. I'm gonna build a lot of the features by hand. Because it's easier and it looks better by hand. So, 
I could eat. I could do this by hand, but it would be. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like I could do it fast by hand. I just know too much about building by hand. I, don't, I never use. I mean, I, I don't want to use Voxel, but I have to because it's really big. So, the forearm's gonna go straight here and it's gonna kind of curve in and into this elbow. So, pretty basic here. It's gonna go kind of straight. Make sure it's a good transition. Now it's gonna transition into the elbow as if it's connected to it. There. And now this is gonna come in a little bit. Slightly, so. Now you have this wrist. Now it looks pretty accurate. This part, I'm not sure. It's gonna have to go by the reference image or just make up your own thing. So, now it's already 10 minutes into the video game. Okay, now you see we have a lot of progress on that arm. Now we know how it's gonna look like. Um, same thing over here. You can make up muscles almost, because this is like a creature that does not exist. So then it's, it's gonna go like bicep here, and then just like this really elongated forearm with a giant claw. There's no hands on this one. So let's just do the elongated forearm. So what we have is like the bottom part is usually stiffer and bigger. So it's gonna be like, imagine this going like this and coming in, like an ass a little bit. Okay, I think I exaggerated a bit too much. and then it's gonna come out. Guys, I'll, I mean, one more thing, I will upload more when uh, the summertime comes. Because now I have finals and it's ridiculously hard. Okay, so we have that. Do, honestly, I can just use the red line as the... Because like the forearm's super skinny in this one. It looks really cool when it's skinny and elongated. So for this part, a little space here and then the bicep. People usually just make the bicep start in there, but I don't. I think it looks more um, correct when you do it like this. And remember, these are blocks. It's not exactly like perfect. So yeah. So yeah, that. But the thing with the bicep is that it comes down here and like this is bump, but then um. It's kind of like this indentation, but we can't really do that with blocks, it's really hard. Tricep, um... Okay, look, 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 there's like an indentation for really exaggerated features for, um, animals that are super muscular, like... So there's gonna be like this big dent here, and then you'll have the tricep, which is... Just a lump of, like, meat. I'm just gonna put that. It's really thick. Like, have you ever seen people on steroids? It's it's gonna look pretty much like that. Just do some more wireframing. I can basically make this whole thing by hand, but it's gonna look way better. But, um... Should I do it by hand? Okay, I'm gonna do, like, the big parts, but, um... Not by hand. Okay, I'm just do the same thing with here. See how long I can make this video. It's probably gonna be kind of long. Okay, we have this giant forearm. We have this skinny forearm. Um, these are claws. This is a tentacle. That red is the hand. It's starting to take shape. So it's amazing how much progress you can get done in like 15 minutes. So bear with me. Um, we're gonna finish this arm here, and I'm gonna see if we can replace this mostly with the, yeah we'll see let's just like make this come in and can just be skinny there yeah why well, don't I have to replace it oh that's a waste of time but it's an easier indication of what is part of the arm and what is just like separate wire framing okay. 
Yeah, I, I'll get rid of that. And then it looks, it obviously looks weird up here, so you gotta pull this down. This looks a little bit off. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry for not uploading much, guys. I'm very sorry. So yeah, that looks more correct. And uh, up here is gonna be like this stub. I've referenced images of it, so it's kind of like a giant claw thing. You'll see. It's really cool looking though. And then this, we'll probably do the tentacle next and the fingers next in the next video. So um, yeah, this is kind of like a kind of like a let's build giant mutant kraken episode one. So yeah, like every episode, I'll just like have this oh wait hold up. hold up sorry yeah so every episode i'll do some progress of this and then i will um continue it in the next episode so you'll see some progress before i make it hold up let me just have this guy <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and thanks for your patience there will be a lot of very complicated organic videos so you can just look at and learn how i plan out my organics and just like that. Um, this will be attacking that mansion that you saw, so yeah. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> okay. Please stay tuned for the next video. Bye.